Greetings, Mixbus users. Are you getting stubs in place of your VSTs in Mixbus V7? What's going on is Mixbus V7 now addresses VST3 plugins. And chances are your session had VST2 plugins. So when the session came up, even though you know you have that particular plugin, it's looking at it like it's not there anymore because it's now looking for a VST3 version and it's the VST2 version that you had in your previous session. Now, say you have the VST3 versions already ready, and they're already ready to load up, but this session is not calling for a VST3, it's calling for the VST2, and Mixbus is not looking at the VST2s, it's looking at only VST3s, because basically, that's the what it's supposed to do. So what we're going to do is, we're going to come down to uh, Preferences, and if you look in... VST section of the plugins, we have this VST2, VST3 section, and it says conceal VST2 plugin if matching VST3 exists. Now, chances are it's going to be checked because that's the default, and you have to uncheck this if you want it to still address the VST2 plugins that you have in your system. So you'll have both VST2 and VST3 versions of that particular plugin available. You're just going to have to select them now. And this is just a way Mixbus is trying to organize itself. But if you check it, it's easier for Mixbus to automatically go to the VST3 version of the plugin. But it's also going to have to have this situation where it's not recognizing the VST2 plugin in the particular session that you're trying to recall. You understand? So you're going to have to uncheck it. It'll do a scan. And then, after you do the scan, we could quit the session. And I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to open it back up again. It's now looking for both VST2 and VST3 plugins. And my plugins and everything should be there properly. This is the first time I took this session to V7. So. It's not a problem. You just got to sort it out and figure out what's going on. You're not losing any data. You just need to tell Mixbus what to look for in your particular session. And basically, it's much more organized if you have it checked, that box checked, to show the VST3 only. But the problem is, if that box is checked, you're going to ignore any VST2 plugin that you've had in another session. So, at least you know what's going on and know how to deal with this. If you do incur this problem, it's not a problem. It's just Mixbus is doing exactly what it's being told to do, and it's searching for VST3 and ignoring the VST2. So I hope this helps you sort out your sessions and helps you to understand all you have to do is sort it out.